When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, my hair is a little maybe too sassy today. I have too many sassy extensions clipped in all at once and my hair now weighs like 500 pounds. Today, you guys, I'm so excited as I always am for our next mystery box unboxing. And I have to be honest, until today, this very day, I did not even know that these existed, that they were coming, nothing. I didn't, I, I knew nothing about them. And now I am, so excited. So these actually belong to the Rainbow High universe. Rainbow High, uh, we did like a mystery unboxing a few times of like the original, they were larger Rainbow High mystery things. Now they have Shadow High dolls and they're all in like black and white grayscale. But basically much like LOL Surprise that I know we've done on this channel, they are these like really pretty fashion fashion dolls. So now what they've done is they've come out with mystery accessories. And it's so funny that I just bought these today because I just got on TikTok and some of y'all tagged me in another product that's similar to this. There's also handbags. These are shoes. Maybe I could like finish one complete sentence. That's what we're going to be unboxing today, you guys, is Rainbow High mystery shoes. There's also handbags, like I just said. So I will definitely be getting some of those for us to unbox as well on this channel because I love stuff like this. This is very quickly becoming my new favorite kind of mystery unboxings, uh, much like the mini brands fashion is when there are these like mystery dupes of like designer fashion items. That's what the experience is going to be like, I'm pretty sure, today. There are 25 different types of mystery shoes to collect. Now, I have to be honest, I'm much more versed in the world of, like, bags than designer shoes. Because when we were doing the mini brands fashion mystery unboxings, I was kind of, like, recognizing a lot of the dupes that like they were trying to make like a faux Louis Vuitton or like a faux Balenciaga. And I can't even believe it. I'm gonna go ahead and just spoil it for you guys. But in the handbags, they have a dupe for my Moschino H&M combination lock bag. They like made a dupe for that in the handbag series. Anyway, 25 shoes. I think it's gonna be a whole experience. I just grabbed these five colors. There were so many different colored exterior boxes. I don't know if that has any meaning for what is inside the boxes. I doubt that it does because that would kind of like ruin the mystery and there's also not 25 different colors. You guys, I'm very, very rambly today. So yeah, 25 different ones to collect. I will just say right off the bat, I'm a little shocked at the price. Each one of these, each is $10, which I don't know. It's just, it's like many brands fashion is $10, but you also get not only the bag, but like I think four or five other mysteries in the egg. So $10 for one pair of doll size shoes is pretty steep. So let's see, do we think they're worth it? So far, I love the concept. Anyway, you guys, as I said, rambling. Also, I'm like really shocked by like the wrapper. I don't know by what magic this box is sealed because look at this. It's only like wrapped around this way, like not fully encased in plastic. So very, very interesting. Oh, it's like taped. It's like sealed to the top of the box. Is anybody that curious about packaging? I love packaging of products. I think it's intriguing to me, especially in the world of like miniatures, because I feel like it's like so creative and like the packaging a lot of times is like a whole element of the experience, you know? So this box, I love the rainbow like gradient. Okay, this is actually, oh, there was like a seal there. I just popped open the seal. I'll open the next one better, I promise. So right on top, 
I did see a similar thing with the bags as well. Oh my God, you guys, we need scissors. <gasps> Look at that certificate of glam. So they definitely are trying to recreate like a designer experience because you know, if you buy like particularly like a designer bag, a lot of times it comes with a certificate of authenticity. And a lot of times it's almost like a little credit card thing. So I think that that is the experience they are trying to replicate. Yeah, look, there's like a little serial number on it. Rainbow High Fall 2022. I don't know if each certificate is going to look exactly identical. We also have, what is this? Rainbow High Accessories Studio. I don't know what, oh, I do know what this is. So a lot of times also when you buy a designer bag or designer shoes, your receipt will come in like a cardboard folio, like a nice little like presentation kind of situation. So this is meant to be like the little cardboard folio and this, which interestingly enough on it, it's, it's supposed to be the receipt, but interestingly enough, it has a, QR code? I'm kind of curious if that is like actually scannable. I've never gotten a receipt with a QR code on it. Have you? I feel like QR, um, QR codes like really made a comeback over the last couple of years. All right, so now let's get into the real unboxing experience. So see, I was curious if it was gonna have a shoe box um, and it looks like it does. Oh my God, you guys, I'm excited to put these in my closet. So um, in just a second, we'll kind of take a quick look at the chart, but this is just like the exterior wrap wrapping box. You guys, I am like stumbling over every other word today. Do y'all ever have days like that where you like everything is just a tongue twister? So yeah, this is going to be interesting to see if kind of like that's the difference between the different colors of boxes. Like is that what the miniature shoe box is going to look like inside. Like when we open this one, are we gonna get a purple shoe box? And we open this one, it's like a rainbow shoe box. I don't know. Uh, so, ooh, okay, this will be interesting. There's like a little sticker on the side. Is that actually the shoe that we are about to unbox? So this, okay, so these are the shoes, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on the bottom. This is so cute. It does come with a dust bag which is very, very cute, very similar to a designer shoe unboxing experience, except for usually I feel like any designer pair of shoes I've ever gotten, they give you one dust bag per shoe. So this is also very cute. We have this nice paper with a seal that we can rip open just like I do with my very own designer items. Yeah, okay, so that is really interesting. So the photo on the outside of the box actually does show you the shoes inside the box, which I feel like that's just such a cute detail for like miniature collectors because it's just one more element that's like really detailed and like precise. Like you could keep your collection in each. Oh my God, I just threw like every piece on the floor, but you know. So it is gonna be so fun for you guys to tell me in the comments what designer shoe, if you can recognize it, what shoe are these trying to replicate? Now this is really cute. Once again, I feel like they did a really good job of like recreating designer elements. I love that there is this chunky heel on the bottom, but that the top is actually like a stretchy fabric. So I have two guesses for what shoe these might be replicating, what brand. One is Balenciaga. I also know that that brand is still like, I feel like kind of trendy with the kids. And also maybe I never pronounced this brand correctly, but Vetements, is that how you say that? I feel like they have shoes very similar to this style. So, 
Uh, I really love it. I'm really impressed so far. However, I will say just pretty expensive in my opinion, $10. And I wish like these accessories are really cute and it does add um, to the, you know, designer kind of feel. Um, but it is just like, you know, it's like, it's, it's all for the unboxing, I feel like. I love like all the different elements, the quality of the papers, the steel, the seals, the stickers and stuff like that. But like, what are you gonna do with this, you know? Like after you've already unboxed it. If you have a junk journal, like yours truly, then you'll probably like cut it up and scrapbook with it. But you know, other, other people I feel like might think that this is like garbage, which it is, it is. Maybe you could like keep it in the box. I don't know, let me let me know so far you guys' thoughts on that. Don't you feel like $10 is kind of steep? Um, the handbags are also $10. So here we go. Let's pop open the purple box and it's gonna be exciting to see how similar each one is and if we're gonna get a purple shoe box inside of there. I forgot to go over the chart, but I feel like that might be more fun to not look at the chart until the end so that we don't ruin any of the surprises. Cause I'm just kind of curious if I'm gonna recognize any, like did they do like faux Le Boutons? You know, I feel like the red bottom shoes are like the most easy to identify designer shoe. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I've just always been super into collecting like Jeffrey Campbell shoes and stuff, which I mean, I feel like those are like designer, but it's not like, you know, Louis Vuitton or something, I guess. So this is interesting to see that the receipt holder is purple out of the purple box, like the rainbow one was rainbow. But other than that, I feel like all I mean, I didn't like read off the serial number or anything, um, but that's kind of the other thing about this is like kind of once you've had this experience with the little piece of paper, once you've had that experience once, yeah, no. like I feel like you would maybe try and be collecting like all the shoes, but you're kind of like getting the same thing over and over again. But look at that. That's pretty cool and interesting because once again, if you like collect miniatures and you have a special like theme or a special, you know, colorway that you're really into, it seems so far that the exterior box, that's what that means. That's like what the color of the interior box is going to be. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys what's the photo on the side of the box is because then y'all will already see which one we're gonna get. But look at this. Okay, this is also a really cool detail. The dust bag is the same shade purple as the box, which oh, they didn't do a rainbow one. The rainbow box was just white, just a white bag. And oh, so that, oh my God. Oh, the paper is different too. Oh, that's interesting. See, I always say this kind of prints the same with the mini brands fashion. This kind of always reminds me of like ye old Dooney and Burke, like the it girl bag from the early 2000s. It was kind of this white rainbow kind of thing. See, I feel like that once again coordinates with the box. The box was rainbow, the paper is rainbow, and this, you know, the box is purple, the drawstring bag is purple and silver, and the paper is purple and silver. So maybe it's more about matching the box than like trying to match any kind of brand, although classic Louis Vuitton has a colorway like that as well. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god. Okay, so I recognize this is actually, I saw these already in the store display. And uh, these were the ones that I was like most excited about. I don't remember the designer brand of these shoes. But I definitely thought about getting these a couple of years ago, because there was like a designer shoe that came out and they looked like gigantic fluffy teddy bear slippers, but I never got a pair because I was just thinking like, okay, these are like slipper style shoes that are meant for outdoors, but like if you ever get caught in the rain or like, aren't they gonna get super dirty? I don't know, but these are so cute. They are flocked teddy bears. They're pretty heavy as well, which is pretty interesting. Um, they have little crystals for eyes. And I can't tell the nose is like, oh, the nose and the little bear pads are like a hard plastic. <laughs> but 
But yeah, these are so, so cute. And these were like the ones I saw on the display. And I was like, oh my God, I hope we get those because they're so cute. So yeah, off to a good start. Okay, let's open orange. I saw in the comments on Amazon, because that's where I ended up ordering the handbag ones, that some people say this is like gambling. I don't know. What do you guys like think about that? I've never been like so compelled to like complete a collection. All right, you guys, box <gasps> number three. Are we gonna get a Halloween pair of shoes? I will keep opening these just for the sake of the video. Oh, let's actually see if the serial number is different just in case any of you guys care. Like it would have been really cute if they put like a pair of socks with the shoes. Like I feel like that would have been a cute bonus okay so that's interesting it does look like all the serial numbers are different but you know how many times are they different i don't know we have a receipt still looks exactly the same except for it comes wrapped in the orange paper let's open it up and take out our orange box you guys already know the drill rainbow high mini accessories okay <gasps> orange wrapping paper. Is it an orange dust bag? It is. Love that. Really, really cute. I mean, once again, same as the mini brands fashion. These are all like really high quality. I love the experience of it. I'm just not sure that I would say $10 of experience. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. These are all oh, off-white. I only am saying that because I feel like that's the brand that always uses like the almost price tag look. Although I feel like off-white is more of kind of like a casual, I don't, not a casual, but like, I don't know how to describe it, but just like gold high heels would not be the first thing I would think of when I think of the brand Off-White. But yeah, let me know, is there a pair of super fancy high heels like this? Is that the brand that this show is trying to replicate? All right, you guys. So the next box I got is like this um, hot pink box. The other pink I remember was like a baby pink. They also had two different shades of green, like this gator green, and then they had kind of like a paler green, let's say. So pop open the top. You guys already know the drill. Don't you think it would be more fun to do like socks? I'm trying to think of another like small accessory because I feel like definitely they're going to probably do like sunglasses and stuff in the future if they have success with the shoes and the handbags. Yeah, once again, a different um, authenticity like card number and... I swear it does look like the same exact um, printed information on the receipt every single time, which that would have been a fun element to me as well. If they would have done something, maybe not a price, because I don't know how fun like that would be, but you know how there's like rare or common or whatever, like they could have maybe like printed that kind of info on the receipt, something that maybe like made the receipt look different each time versus just like the same thing over and over again, except for the color of folder. So ah, pink shoe box, ooh, pink and gold paper. Beautiful little dust bag here, love it. And, oh look, I don't actually have to like rip this paper. <laughs> and let's see, oh my gosh. <gasps> Okay, well, hello. It says R and H for rainbow high. But look at how interesting this is. So these have like, I always call this like a ballet slipper type lacing. That is probably not what it's called all the, at, at all, ever. No one else has, well, some other people I'm sure have called it that. But yeah, look at this. One shoe has an R, one shoe has an H. We have beautiful ballerina lacing. I love the little plastic fake feet that are in there. And it is a stiletto style shoe. So cute. 
And I honestly do not even have a guess. I don't even have a guess for what brand of shoe these are. So I feel like I would recognize like a Versace shoe. I feel like, well, at least like their platforms, I would recognize, watch these be Versace. But you know what, now I'm wondering if it would be like beyond their capability of like spoofing to have a shoe with a red sole. Cause I feel like everybody, it's like super recognizable. But I mean, then so is everything else. Cause like I said, I saw the handbags and they have Balenciaga handbags as an option. And like, if you recognize the shape of the Balenciaga bags, like you would know that that's what they're trying to like copy. So yeah, I kind of don't know what, I know that there's like all kinds of parody rules. Oh my God, I just ripped the box. So here we go, one last little receipt. What do you guys think about these? This is our last one. Should we do more of these? Do you guys like these? Do you like the mini brands fashion better? I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. So it looks like once again, we have a different, oh, I thought I saw 11 at the end before. Is this, oh, nope, we have 19, eight, and three. So now we have 11, what does that mean? I don't know. Wouldn't it be interesting if like you got a repeat of a shoe and then you got the same serial number? So our little receipt holder this time, you guys, it's folded a little bit wonky. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to tell that or not. And we have our little receipt. So now we already know, green exterior box, green shoe box on the inside. And let's see, I'm glad that so far we have not gotten any repeats. Ooh, that paper is really cool too. Looks definitely more lime green, I feel like on the inside, but look at that dust bag. <gasps> I love it. Let's very carefully open it up and let's see what does it look like? What are the shoes gonna be? <gasps> Ooh, these are so cool. Okay, now are these meant to be Versace? After I just said I would definitely recognize Versace. No, you wouldn't. You would not. Um, these also definitely remind me of new rock shoes. Now that's not like designer, designer, you know? But I mean, once again, still like Jeffrey Campbell, new rock, Demonia, like all of that is definitely like branded to me, but I just don't know that it like fits amongst the other like, you know, like a Louis Vuitton, a Fendi, an Off-White, you know, I feel like those are just like different types of brands. So yeah, let me know if you guys recognize these different brands or, uh, or not, we just lost them. Okay, now let's look at the chart. So, uh, oh my gosh, this is so interesting. So this was also in all of the boxes <laughs> and they want you to like scan this QR code or fill out this questionnaire and send it back to them. I honestly wonder like how many people do this? Isn't that interesting? They say, what's your favorite feature and do you have suggestions to improve the product? What toys would you like us to create? Product or model number found on package? Ugh, okay, this is like really, this is really interesting. And here is the big fold out chart. Oh my God, look, they actually show you guys the handbag chart on the other side. So yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about, right? Like, I feel like that's very recognizably Balenciaga. This is the one I have to find, you guys. The Moschino H&M lock bag. And we have very, very clearly Supreme dupe. So yeah, but we'll, we'll save that for next time. That's the handbags. So here, oh, oh my God, you guys. I'm kind of sad we didn't get any of the super tall. Yeah, look at this. Literally, um, so many of these have got to be like, I feel like that's very clearly a Demonia type shoe as well as this. So maybe they did do like a mishmash of like some super like high-end designer brands and just like, 
other brands. But look, I'm like sad that we did not get any of the super tall, like knee high boots. Only one pair of teddy bears. So glad we got those. Yeah, I feel like these are definitely like some Balenciaga sneakers which makes me think maybe those are also meant to be a Balenciaga. I feel like that is definitely another off-white dupe. And I don't see any shoes with red heels. So maybe they could not do that. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dare I say, like, are these meant to be Mew Mew? I feel like Mew Mew has like a lot of crystal heels. Like I actually do have a pair of um, Mew Mew heeled sandals. They're like black with sparkles. They're like a black vinyl with sparkles. Yes, yeah, so I feel like we have been talking and talking and talking. Um, I feel like anytime I get like a fashion thing, the video is three times longer than any other mystery unboxing video. So yeah, I'm very excited to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on these in the comments down below. What do you guys think about like the price for what you're getting? I mean, they are very cute. They're very detailed, but I feel like one pair of Barbie shoes for $10 is pretty expensive. But that's just me. Y'all, I cannot tell you the number of times that I've gone to like a thrift store and gotten a real pair of shoes for like a dollar. So that's what I'm saying is like $10 for two tiny shoes. But yeah. Other than that, I love them. I do love the experience. I feel like there are some things that they could do to kind of like change it up to make each unboxing like more unique. Like just in terms of the receipts and the little card, I feel like that would be cooler. But I do love the dust bags. I love the different papers. I love the fact that when you select the outside box, that's the color of the shoe box on the inside. Guys, I could just go on and on and on and on. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today. and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the banana pepper squad today and until i see you guys again which is going to be very very soon stay happy stay healthy stay sassy stay banana peppery and i hope my brain is working better by tomorrow you guys i love you guys so much and i'll be back again very very soon bye